Prince Harry was clearly not happy during his appearance on stage over the weekend, while his wife Meghan Markle appeared in her element, according to a body language expert. On Saturday, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex took to the stage in Los Angeles to accept a top accolade at the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People NAACP, Image Awards. The couple were presented with the prestigious President's Award in recognition of special achievement and distinguished public service for their humanitarian work. During their acceptance speech, Harry, 37, and Meghan, 40, paid tribute to the people of Ukraine amid the ongoing crisis and called for global support for the country. Harry said, Before I begin, we would like to acknowledge the people of Ukraine who urgently need our support as a global community. I think it's safe to say I come from a very different background to my incredible wife, yet our lives were brought together for a reason. We share a commitment to a life of service, a responsibility to confront injustice and a belief that the most overlooked are often the most important to listen to. The couple's public activism has resulted in criticism from some royal watchers, however, Meghan added that she couldn't be prouder that we're doing this work together. The Duchess then said, We are so deeply humbled to be here in the company of such illustrious awardees. International renowned body language expert Dr. Lillian Glass analyzed the appearance of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex at the event exclusively for Express.co.uk. Dr. Glass claims there is a distinct difference between the couple's appearance on stage, as Harry appeared uncomfortable whereas his wife appeared in her element. She told Express.co.uk, Harry looked like a fish out of water as he didn't know what to do or how to comfort himself as he looked down at the award and examined it and then rocked back and forth and pulled away from Meghan. He straightened up for a while when she quickly turned her head towards him and shot him a not so pleasant look indicating that he was on stage and to be aware of it and to shape up. He purses his lips in embarrassment and then cocks his head like a wounded puppy and then looks at the camera. He is not smiling the whole time he is up there. He then forgets and looks back at her and looks down and then returns to facing the camera. While looking at the camera he continues to rock back and forth like a child that feels uncomfortable because they have a full bladder. Dr. Glass claims this was a further cue that showed his discomfort. She said, his rocking back and forth indicates he really doesn't want to be there as further punctuated by his lack of a smile and dull eyes. Meghan on the other hand is in her element as she looks directly into the camera and speaks eloquently. Dr. Glass went on to add that the Duke's appearance was surprising, considering his history in the limelight. She said, one would think that growing up in front of a camera and having spoken to countless groups he would know how to act when receiving an award on stage but it confirms that the body doesn't lie and Harry is clearly not happy and uncomfortable as indicated through his body language at this event. The Duke and Duchess dazzled on stage, with Harry donning a black tuxedo by Oswald Boateng while Meghan sported a gorgeous sapphire blue gown by Christopher John Rogers. The awards ceremony marked the Sussexes' first joint public appearance of the year, which sparked a flurry of excitement from their supporters. Former recipients of the President's Award include Muhammad Ali, former U.S. President Bill Clinton and singer Rihanna. Also at the event, Meghan and Harry launched the new NAACP Archul Digital Civil Rights Award, in recognition of those who are creating transformational change at the intersection of social justice and technology. The award is a collaboration between Meghan and Harry's Archul organization and the NAACP. It was presented to Dr. Sophia Noble, an Internet Studies scholar and author of Algorithms of Oppression, How Search Engines Reinforce Racism, on Saturday.